Just too cold for working on the boat outside here. So welcome back. Been a long time since I put out a video. Uh, end of the summer, early fall last year, uh, I decided that I wanted to get the floor back in the boat uh, before it got too cold before I had to cover it up for the winter. So I actually managed to get that done. Um, first thing was uh, getting everything ready for the fuel tank to go in. Uh, so I got the fuel tank ready, cleaned it all up, uh, got it in the hole, um, test fit where all the fuel lines were going to go. And then I uh, created wood um, channels uh, to protect the fuel supply hose and the fuel lines and the wiring from the tank um, and fit those in between the stringers and glass them in. Then the next step was to put the fuel tank, uh, so I took the fuel tank out while I was putting those in and then put the fuel tank back in uh, and attached it properly and foamed it in. Um, you can see in some of these shots the phone bubbling up and all that kind of fun stuff. Then I proceeded to cut the plywood for the floor. You can see in these clips, uh, I cut all of the plywood, test fit where it was going to be, created the access hatch for the fuel connections on the tank, uh, both ends, and uh, one end it's going to just be a removable panel, the other end I'm going to use a um, screw in deck, deck access plate uh, so you can get out of where the fuel line comes out. Um, once I had all the plywood in, I marked where it was going to attach to the stringer so I knew all of that. Um, and then I pulled them out and I decided that unlike what was in the boat before, uh, I was going to create a couple more storage compartments under the floor. So once I got it out, I uh, flipped the plywood over, uh, cut the holes um, using a jigsaw for just removable access panels to get into some storage compartments. And then I created these uh, plywood enclosed boxes um, that are attached to the floor. Um, and then before I put the floor back in, the bottom of the floor and the bottom of those boxes and everything all got glassed um, with a thin layer of fiberglass just to seal it up uh, and for structural integrity and to make sure things don't rot later. Um, just covering it in polyester resin without um, putting some fiberglass cloth in there won't work. That's just going to crack and it's just going to trap moisture rather than protect it from the moisture. So. Unless you're using epoxy, you have to use the glass on the bottom as well to seal it up. Um, after that, I set the panels, all the floor panels back in place, uh, and I didn't get video of, of getting the floor all glassed in over the top because um, when I was doing it, it was late in the evenings, the lighting was terrible, and I was just trying to get it done in a hurry before it got too cold out, and I was trying to do it between the cold and the rain and everything we were getting in the fall, so I didn't get a shot chance to get some good video and uh, and then I covered the boat up with a tarp and currently the boat's covered with a tarp that's covered in snow so I can't really show a whole lot of that um, but anyway the floor is in sealed up um, so my next step in the spring is to start getting the last bit of fiberglassing the engine mounts done and then start getting the engine and the drivetrain in so to start preparing for that, I uh, dug the engine out um, in the, out of the corner of the garage from behind the Jeep. And uh, I had done most of the rebuild work I was going to do on it, but it still needs to be assembled. Like the engine itself is assembled, but the carburetor needs to go back on. Um, in this shot, you can just see it sitting on top of the engine. Um, and I have to get the transmission ready and mount it to the engine and the alternator and the starter and the water pumps and everything else will have to go back on the engine. So I've got a lot of work to get that ready. Um, then I need to go through all of the, um, 
the trim pump, the trim rims, and make sure they're ready to go. Um, I also have a, it has a Bennett trim tab system, so I want to check the pump and the tabs and make sure all of that stuff is ready to be reinstalled and see what I need to get for new parts. So still got a lot of work to do. Um, haven't had a chance yet this winter to do anything on it other than pull the engines out because I was too busy rebuilding a couple of snowmobiles so we have something to do in the winter as well. So anyway, they're, they're up and running, so I'm back to uh, working on the boat when I have time. Fortunately, I do have a heated garage. Uh, boat won't fit in there, but the engine engine fits at least. Anyway, that's just a quick update. Hopefully, I'll get the uh, next video up in a little shorter amount of time than this one. See you next time, guys.